Kim Kardashian may currently be living a very happily ever after tale after marrying Kanye West, but let's not forget about the fellas that she dated and even married pre Kimye. Every aspect of Kim's life is analyzed, so why not take a deep dive into her dating life, right? All right, we're here to break down not one and not two, but 10 guys that Kim K dated before her knight in shining armor, AKA Kanye came along. And let's get this show on the road, shall we? First up, we have music exec Damon Thomas, who isn't just someone Kim dated, she married him. Before Kim was even a household name, she eloped with Damon in Las Vegas when she was just 19 years old and he was 30. In fact, Kim kept the marriage a secret from everyone, including her family. And shocker, the marriage didn't last very long because they split in 03. Kim claimed that Damon was physically and verbally abusive, while Damon claimed that Kim was a shopaholic who would do anything to become famous and make her way to the top. Well, whatever she did, it obviously worked considering that her net worth is now $65 million and just about everybody in the world knows who she is. Advantage Kim. Landing the number two spot on our countdown is Ray J. <laughs> See, before Kim was a reality star, she was merely a stylist for R&B singer Brandy and then she began dating Brandy's brother, Ray J. The two sparked up a romance in 2004 and dated for a couple of years after that, finally ending things in 2006. And though the relationship was clearly short-lived, they do have one very special souvenir that came from it all. Yes, that infamous sex tape. The scandalous tape that launched Kim into stardom was made with Ray J, and while Kim has obviously moved on, Ray J dropped a song called I Hit It First, I Know. That happened in 2013, and it made obvious references to their relationship. I mean, just listen to the opening line of the song. Now we might move on to rappers and ball players, but we all know I hit it first. I, I, he even drops a lyric that says that she chose to go west, an obvious nod to Kanye. Not to mention the single's artwork is a pixelated photo of Kim. In the words of Frozen, let it go, Ray J, just let it go. Coming in at number three, we have, surprisingly, Nick Lachey, who is no stranger to high-profile romances. Shortly after he filed for divorce from Jessica Simpson in 2006, Nick was seen on a couple of dates with Kim, who at the time was basically unknown. Things didn't really go beyond a couple of dates, and Nick even joked that Kim used him for fame, shocker, and that she was the one who would tip off the paparazzi about their dates. For example, he recently revealed during an interview, Let's just say this, we went to a movie, no one followed us there. Somehow, mysteriously, when we left, there were 30 photographers waiting outside. Next up at number four, we have Terrence Howard. Kim was linked to the actor in 2007 when they were reportedly seen engaging in some PDA at a couple of Hollywood hotspots. However, Kim shot those rumors down on their e-reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians when she revealed this. Terrence Howard, I remember I walked in in the morning and I saw, this was recently. Oh, this story is hysterical. I was sitting on his lap that night. Yes, ah. <laughs> Mystery solved. Looks like that was simply a case of mistaken identity, one that would never happen now, since these gals are obviously uber famous now. Moving along to number five, we have Nick Cannon, and some believe that his relationship with Kim, or at least him talking about it, was the final nail in the coffin that ended his marriage to Mariah Carey. But let's just start from the beginning, shall we? All right, again, Kim was just an unknown socialite when she dated Nick for about a year in 2006, and they apparently broke up because she lied about the existence of her sex tape with Ray J. However, there were no hard feelings, as Nick said that Kim is one of the nicest people that you will ever meet. Cut to 2014 when Howard Stern brings up his relationship with Kim again, leading to a very pissed off Ms. Mariah Carey. And it basically was one of the starting off points that led to the end of their marriage. Coming in at number six, we have Kim's longtime beau, Reggie Bush. Kim and the football player began dating in 2007, and there were always engagement rumors surrounding these two. They split for a bit in 2009, but got back together for a brief amount of time before calling things off for good in 2010. Their busy schedules were reportedly to blame for the end of their relationship, but some think that the fact that Kanye West was holding a flame for Kim had something to do with them breaking things off. 
confession, I always love these two together, and though I'm happy that Kim is happy with Kanye, I wouldn't have hated it if these two would have ended up together instead. After Kim split with Reggie in 2010, she moved on to another football player, Miles Austin, who comes in at number seven. Their relationship was chronicled on E's Keeping Up With The Kardashians, and it's clear that Miles was rather shy and had trouble, you know, keeping up with the outspoken famous family. Things fizzled out just as quickly as they began. However, Kim did not let that split get her down as she quickly moved on to male model Gabriel Aubrey, who lands the number eight spot. These two had a brief romance towards the end of 2010 when they were seen out and about numerous times but broke things off before the year ended. And if you were wondering, yes, Gabriel is Halle Berry's baby daddy. Kim had little to no recovery time to move on from her breakup with Gabriel because then she started dating basketball player Chris Humphreys literally right after that and that's why he comes in at number nine. We think you know how this one goes, by the way. Kim starts dating Chris. The two have a whirlwind romance that results in an engagement in May 2011. They have a lavish and televised wedding ceremony in August that same year. And then Kim files for a divorce 72 days after becoming man and wife. <laughs> Such a typical fairy tale romance. While that whole situation was a bit of a nightmare, the best was yet to come. And yes, that is where Kanye West comes in, as her now hubby takes the number 10 spot. These two had apparently always had feelings for each other, but never really acted on them until Kim split from Chris Humphreys. The two went public with their romance in 2012, and by the end of that year, they revealed that they were expecting a baby. Little Northwest was born in June 2013. Kim Ye got engaged in October 2013 and married in yet another lavish ceremony in May of 2014. Has there ever been a more perfect couple? They will never love each other more than they love themselves. Ha ha ha, we kid. And besides, there's a chance that they could split by the time that you get to watching this video because celebrity relationships change as often as Demi Lovato changes her hair. And with that, our look into Kim K's dating timeline comes to a sad end. Now, do you guys think that Kim Ye will stand the test of time? Comment below or tweet me directly at Miriam Issa at Clever News. And then click right over here to get a breakdown of all the ladies that Justin Bieber has romanced over the years. I'm your girl, Miriam Issa. Thank you so much for checking out and subscribing to Clever News. And we will see you guys later.